Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and I'm working in collaboration with Paradox Interactive to bring you the top 10 mods and assets of December 2020. You may have seen me on YouTube, building cities, drinking tea, fixing traffic and trying to cram as many people as possible into one square in City Skylines. Yes, there's so much fun that can be had with our favourite game. And to add even more to it, let's see what mods and assets have been chosen as the best last month. So let's dive in and see who's at number 10. At number 10, we have JP Light Pole by Suginoko. This pole of light comes in 14 different varieties and you can adjust the height using the Move It mod as well. A fantastic little asset for providing some light around your city, amongst your flowers and your trees, really brightening up the place. And at number nine, we have JP Office by Kerr66. This is a global office building based on an office building near Shanigawa Station in Tokyo. You may wish to use the Find It mod and then enter JP Office to find this asset to place in your city skylines. And at number 8 we have Council Terrace Row by Starshall. These are a level 1 low level residential building based on typical council terrace houses found in the UK. To make your council estates look as beautiful as the ones in the pictures here, you may wish to add some of your own props to brighten up the place. And there's also a colour map included if you wish to change the colour of the tile to add a little bit of variety. At number 7 we have JP Commercial Corner Building by Costas667. This is a global 2x2 high commercial building and based on a completely random Japanese building as found on Google Maps. And if you have a corner slot you need to fill in your Japanese cities or districts then this could be the building for you. At number 6 we have the Portuguese Synagogue in Amsterdam by Liliki. The Amsterdam Sephardic community was one of the largest and richest Jewish communities in Europe during the Dutch Golden Age and they used this very large synagogue. It also houses one of the oldest Jewish libraries in the world and is filled with original and rare texts. And I think this fantastic looking building will look perfect in your city. It's the halfway mark and at number 5 we have Colonial House Corner House 2 Cienfuegos Cuba by Marl Evans. This commercial high building is based on the buildings found in Cienfuegos, a city on the southern coast of Cuba. And if you want to see an amazing collection of neoclassical structures, this is the place in the Caribbean to go to. And this 4x4 building can also change colour if you use the painter or repaint mod. At number 4 we have Rauma Large Courthouse by Ion Wind. Rauma is a town found on the west coast of Finland and this courthouse is a 10.5 by 12 lot size but also can be used alongside the Rauma police station which together will help to keep your citizens in line. And now we reach the top three and we start off at number three with the flower department store by Christine Yan. This 9x6 level 1 unique building is encased in this beautiful flower design mesh. It certainly is an eye-catching design and will have your citizens flocking to your shopping districts. Well done, Christine Yan, for making it to number three. Let's see who is at number two this month. At number two, we have Lavache 1719 Clinic by Mons. This asset is based on a building found in Buenos Aires and is an example of Argentinian neoclassical and eclectic architectural style. It was built in the 1920s as a residential building and now hosts a clinic. When placed in your cities, this asset is a hospital and can host up to 200 patients. Well done Mons for this beautifully made building. Now let's see who is at number one. And at number one, we have FPS Booster by Kurzu. Now this mod uses some clever behind the scenes trickery to increase your in-game frame rate, but be warned, please read carefully the Steam Workshop page before you use this mod. At the time of recording this video, there is no mods reported as incompatible, which is absolutely fantastic, but you will need to make note of the important notes to install patch loader as well so that mod can work 
as intended. And if you find this or any other mods and assets that we feature on this channel helpful to you, then please give them a thumbs up and maybe even an award on the Steam Workshop. The creators of them will be very, very grateful. So well done to Kurzu for being our number one mod for the month of December 2020. So what did you think of our choices this month? Let us know in the comments below. As always, all of these items can be found in a Steam Workshop collection, which is in the description. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the amazing City Skyline content coming your way on this channel. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.